Well, welcome back to <laughs> Studio 3, everyone. It is time for another edition of Willow Wonders. Mm -hmm. And since Christmas is next week, Today we are in the kitchen making some Christmas cookies for your pets. We're going to be sharing the recipe with you. I made it easy because it takes a little bit of time. Yeah. But today, Susan, we're going to be frosting these cookies. And everything in this uh -huh. is safe for your pet to eat. Ooh. So okay. let's go ahead. Let's go over the ingredient list, everything that you're going to need. We've got all of that here. And I just brought the ingredients with me for the cookies. I didn't bring the frosting okay. because I did that at home. But for the cookies, you're going to need one cup of peanut butter, a tablespoon of molasses, a cup of milk, two cups of whole wheat flour, a tablespoon of baking powder, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. And Susan, you said, well, these look good enough to eat. They really do. I guess you could, they but they just don't really too. have like any cook, I mean, like any sugar or anything in them. Mm -hmm. So I don't know that they're going to taste as good to us. Mm -hmm. But if you're wanting to add frosting to it for your pups, all you need for that is two eight ounce packages of cream cheese, two and a half teaspoons of honey, one teaspoon of vanilla, and the red and green food coloring. And really quick, I'll tell you how to do this. All you need for your tools, you need some cookie cutters. Oh, yeah. I've got some festive little Christmas ones that mm -hmm. I do at home. Then you just need some parchment paper and your piping bag for your frosting. And then all you do is you just take all those ingredients. I start with my dry ingredients, move to my wet ingredients, mix those up really well with a, a mixer at home. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And then once you have all of that mixed up really well, you wanna just take all those ingredients just roll them up into a ball, mm -hmm. use your rolling pin. Just get like them. with regular Christmas exactly. cookies. Exactly, they're just like any cookies that you okay. would make at home. And then just use your cookie cutters to cut them out, pop them on a cookie sheet, and then put them in the oven for about 15 minutes, and then they're good to go. And then the frosting, all you have to do is take the cream cheese. You want to let it soften up a little bit at okay. home. And then you want to kind of beat that with the mixer mm -hmm. and get it a little bit fluffy, and then go back in and add your honey and your vanilla. And then you can separate those into your food coloring. So today I did a little bit of red and green. Uh huh. And we're going to start decorating. This so I gave you so a little fun. Christmas tree. Oh my goodness, this is. So and we'll see if we can do this. So fun. I let that frosting set out for a little bit, but it may still be a little mm -hmm. bit thick. Okay. Let's see These are so cute because they look like real cookies, Let's and see. they they have a very distinct peanut butter flavor. So there we go. You just got to give it a little bit of. Give it a little bit of effort there. Okay. Because again, I let that set out, but that frosting gets really, really thick. So you want to let it go for a little bit of time. There, yours is starting to finally come yeah. out. But you want to get it room temperature. And I, I mean, see, look at that. Oh, look. Well, and sometimes that happens with a yeah, zip yeah. Ziploc bag. See, I don't use piping bags. But oh, I well, think, that's but, live TV but for you. But you know what? Use what Watch. you have. And if you have, so we're just some people may have here. piping bags at home. If not, we all have sandwich bags. And exactly. And that's what I have another do. one. But you know what? This Sometimes, really look, this is how fun. cooking in the kitchen goes mm -hmm. when it doesn't work for you. Yeah. You just got to go old school and you improvise. Now, I didn't realize that dogs could eat icing. But I guess because this has specific dog safe yes. ingredients. That's in it, the that thing. You want to make sure any time that you are using a recipe, for anything that you're going to give to your pups, mm -hmm. you want to make sure it's stuff that they can have because we don't want to make them sick. Right. All right. So see, look, I just had to go it a little bit so old cute. school. cute. Yeah. Okay. Because sometimes that happens with a Ziploc bag. Like oh, I yeah. said, my stuff didn't get to room temperature. As long as it doesn't uh, blow up in my face, which it very well could, <laughs> the way I'm oh, squeezing any Anytime this. I try to do stuff with food coloring, <laughs> love her heart, I'll, I'll do it in the kitchen at home. And uh -huh. Willow, she likes to be right next to me, but sometimes uh -huh. she likes to jump up. Yeah. And last time I did a little bit of food coloring, she ended up with red all over her face. The so. official taste test. She looks like Rudolph. Speaking of... Willow's in the studio. She is. She is. She's standing by. She's being I think very she's quiet. watching. She's being very patient. I'm kind of surprised. I think she's being on her best behavior because uh -huh. she she knows she's here. Look at that. You're doing good. Mm. Anyway, it, I think it looks I, good. Yeah. I, <coughs> look, I'm a little it, out of practice with decorating. Uh, it looks better this than mine. Season, but I think but like I said, I these are improvise. adorable. And things that we all pretty much have in our own kitchens. Yeah, you don't need a lot. It's, uh -huh. You don't need a ton of ingredients. No, and we all have Christmas cookie cutters. Yeah. Okay. But see, like I have a, a couple idea. here mm -hmm. that I've done. I did a stocking. I've got some snowmen, snowman. stars. I've got some ornament there. I did these last night. Mm -hmm. And they don't take long at all. Like I said, you bake them about 15 minutes and then... 
Once you do that, though, you do want to store those in the refrigerator. You don't want to leave okay. those sitting out. That's a good Just because of some of the tip. ingredients that are included. Mm -hmm. But you can tweak this, too. You can add in a couple of extra little things. I do these around Thanksgiving time, but I put pumpkin in them oh. to give it a little bit more of a... Thanksgiving I like that idea. So yes. Now we're going to have our official taste tester coming out in a little bit. So you're just going to have to hang on. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, we'll see how that goes. But she's yeah. being, <laughs> she's being she's very making good herself at home. The, I wish that you could see this right now. In she's, the audience. She's not being. Mm -hmm. she, I guess she's not being very like. She's sitting up in a chair. She's right being now. very nice. But uh, we are going to take a break, and we then are. we're going to be finishing the cookies so that Willow can enjoy some Christmas cookies. Yeah, I'm going to let her try the, the stocking here. She is super excited. <laughs> and then I hear Susan that she may have a little treat for Bumper, too, to send home with him for Christmas. Oh, we'll love it. Yep, so stick with yeah. us because right after this, we're going to do a little taste test. Willow is mm -hmm. going to be joining us in studio, so we'll see you right after the break. <laughs> 